What's up YouTube, this is Xander the Commander and today I'm going to bring you guys, finally it's here, my Toon Deck Profile. Alright guys, I'm going to start off by saying that this is a little different than most of the deck profiles I've seen going around, which I hope is kind of a good thing. Um, I'm playing it, it is a going second build, which I do see a lot of people doing, but the way I uh, theory craft my extra deck and stuff, it's going to be a little different. But uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So we'll start with the main deck, start with the Toon Monsters. We are playing three copies of Toon BLS. So Toon BLS is really interesting. It's like they mixed BLS Envoy at the beginning with the Ritual Monster to make this tune. So it has all the normal tune effects where if I have Toon Kingdom, he can uh, he can attack direct. Sorry, Toon Toon World, he can attack directly. Which I mean, let's be real, is Toon Kingdom. But yeah, he can attack directly as long as it's on the field. And unlike most Toon Monsters, he actually does get to attack the first turn he's summoned, which I think is based off of the uh, Envoy at the beginning effect where he could attack twice. I think they still gave him summoning sickness, but since that's the monster that they made into a tune, it's like, hey, we're gonna let him attack once. It's kind of a funny little gimmick. As well as once per turn, you can target a card on the field to banish it. Now the thing that makes it similar to a ritual, or the the ritual monster I should say, is that the way you summon him is by tributing either monsters on your field or in your hand that equal eight or more uh, levels. So it's like they mix three things into one. So it's really nice, it's really cool. I really like this card, brand new out of uh, Toon Chaos. And uh, yeah, moving on to the next monster, we're playing two copies of Toon Dark Magician. This card is really nice in the deck as well. Its effect is you contribute a Toon card, or sorry, discard a Toon card from your hand and special summon a Toon f uh, from the deck or search for a Toon spell or trap card. So that's really nice. But moving on, we play two copies of Toon Red Eyes Dragon. This one. Really nice, same uh, same effect as all the other tunes that can't attack the turn it's summoned, uh, but you can uh, attack directly, of course, with uh, Toon World on the field. It's second, or, yeah, it's secondary effect, though, is that you can summon a Toon Monster from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. That's another thing Dark Magician does, too, it ignores summoning conditions. So things like Toon Blackluster Soldier, where it's like, hey, this card can't be summoned except by doing this. Yeah, nah, it gets ignored. Honestly, it shouldn't even be on the card, to be honest with you, but hey, it is. So, moving on. Two copies of Toon Harpy Lady. This card is really nice. If you control Toon World, you can special summon her, and if you do, you can target a spell or trap card on the field and pop it. So that's really cool. Uh, get over things like, you know, floodgates that aren't negating effects. You know, like if you summon it and your opponent maybe like flips over there can only be one, you can pop there can only be one, whatever. So really nice, and of course it can attack directly the turn and summon. It's really cool if you open up two of them because it can be a rank four. Uh, honestly, uh, I'm not playing any rank fours right now, but uh, going forward I may decide to. This is this is kind of just my rough draft uh, version of the deck, but moving forward, we do play one copy of Toon Cyber Dragon because Mega Fleet is a card, and we should abuse it, and we are going second. And speaking of going second, we play three copies of Nibiru. Uh, if you could play in any going second deck at all, you should definitely be playing this. The card is insane, and there's a nice combo that you can go into, which I'll uh, kind of show. This one's going to be hard to do a combo at the end. You know, we usually like to try to do combos at the end, but I'm just going to kind of go through little things you can do with the deck. But uh, and Then we play three copies of the Black Stone of Legend. This card is really cool. Uh, it's funny because it's like basically a pseudo tune card. You only really see it played in tunes and I guess red eyes, but it uh, lets you tribute it to summon tune red eyes from the deck. So it's really cool. But that's all for the monsters, guys. Moving on to the spells. We have a lot of spells this time. Three copies of the God card, Toon Kingdom. Best card in the deck, honestly. The reason why you play it, it makes it where. You have to banish three cards off the top of your deck when you play it, but if you have it on the field, not only can your monsters attack directly because it's considered to be Toon World, but you can also protect your monsters from being destroyed by banishing cards. So it's just, it's really nice. It just protects your board and makes your guys attack directly, and it's it's really good. And then to search it or any other Toon card, to table of content. Add any Toon card from deck to your hand. So, like, I think there's one card in this whole entire deck that's tune related. Two cards. Two cards I play in this deck that are tune related. 
that you can't search off of this. So you can search literally 90% of your deck with this one card. And it's not once per turn, so if you draw three of them, you can have any three cards you want in your hand. So it's really nice. And if that wasn't good enough, then we also have Toon Bookmark. Uh, this one is once per turn. But it basically does the same thing that Toon Table Contents does, except for it says you can search anything that says Toon World in the name or in the text. And almost every Toon card specifically says Toon World. It's actually funny. I think the only Toon card this card cannot search is Toon Table of Contents. Uh, and its secondary effect is if it's in the grave and your Toon Kingdom would be destroyed, you can banish it and protect it. So that's always nice. You get to protect your field spell, which is protecting your monsters. A lot of protection, a lot of consistency, and it's really, really cool. Toon Page Flip. If you, uh, this is once per turn. If you have Toon World on the field, you can reveal any three Toon monsters with different names from your deck and special summon one randomly with uh, ignoring its summoning conditions. So you definitely need to be playing at least two of this. I prefer it at three. We'll see where it goes. It is a quick play spell, so you can also do it during your opponent's turn. So, um, but more consistency, and even more consistency, three pot of extravagances. Uh, if you guys don't know what this card does, then uh, I mean, you, pretty, you should know what it does by now, but just in case you don't, banish uh, three or six, you usually do six, cards from your extra deck face down, draw two cards, you can't draw anymore for the rest of the turn, you can only activate once per turn. So it's pretty nice, it's pseudo pot of greed, and decks like this where you don't use your extra deck that often, and like I said, there are a few instances where your extra deck does come up, but you're trying to OTK, you're trying to win, you're trying to just hurry up and win, so you don't really use your extra deck that often. But uh, And then we play three copies of Super Poly. This is going second, and uh, you, you can't rely on your extra deck too much, so you try to build your extra deck with Super Poly targets that can generically out most decks, and hope that you don't banish all of them. And if you do, then I mean, worst case scenario, you're just playing three Super Polys, which are just nice still, but yeah, so you can fuse cards using your opponent's monsters, or your monsters, and uh, can't be responded to. Always nice. Comic Can. Comic Can with Nibiru is insane. You tribute everything on the field to summon Nibiru, and then Comic Can's effect is as long as you control Toon World, which is the biggest flaw of this deck, is that you have to control Toon World for all this. But as long as you control Toon World, you can steal a monster your opponent controls, equip it to this, and then it becomes a Toon and gets the effects of Toons where it can attack directly. So in inherently, you just make things Toons. It's kind of like in the anime where. Uh, Pegasus took Blue Eyes, or I think it was Blue Eyes, maybe it was Summon Skull, I don't remember. He took one of the monsters, threw it into the book, and then like the book shook it out, and then it came out as a monster. That's basically what this card is, and it's pretty nice. Um, the next spell, most people aren't playing this, I, I like it. This is my 40, 41st card, so you definitely don't have to play this card if you want to take it out. It's called Mimicat. Uh, this is the Speed Duel version, in case you're wondering where the Ultra Rare is from, because I don't believe it has an Ultra Rare and the TCG. I could be wrong. It may have a secret though. But anyways, its effect is that uh, if you control Toon World, you can target a card in your opponent's graveyard. And if it's a monster, special summon it to your side of the field. Or if it's a spell or trap, set it on your side of the field. So you can steal things that, you know, you nibiru So, you know, if they have like a Avramax or a Access Code Talker or anything insane, Boreload Savage, Boreload, anything that you want to take and just have a nice beater on your field that you can use and then after you start attacking use that to get over things and stuff or if they have any negators that you like already baited out or anything like that definitely something worth playing in my opinion but moving on to the non tune spells for more consistency to uh, terraforming to search for your tune kingdom uh, reasoning reasoning is cool because a lot of the tunes don't have summoning uh, restrictions uh, the only ones I can think of is the Black Luster Soldier. That's the only one I'm playing that has, yeah, just double checking on that. That's the only one that has a restriction, so this can summon any of your tunes out. So, and most of the time, your opponents are going to call seven if they know you're playing tunes, but if they don't, like if that's the first card you open, it could be pretty nice. Uh, tune Briefcase. So, the traps we do play in case we have to go first or in case we can't pull off the OTK, and that's uh, 
This one says when your opponent, this one's actually cool because you don't have to control Toon Kingdom, you actually, or Toon World, you just have to control a Toon Monster. If your opponent summons a monster or monsters, you can shuffle them back into the deck. So this card's really insane against like Pendulums, which aren't really a thing right now, but they're, they're good against Pendulums. Um, and then they're also really good against like Link Spam decks, or if your opponent summons something and you just don't want it there and you have this, it's good. And then the counter trap for the deck, when a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated, while you control Toon World and a Toon Monster, negate the effect, and if you do, destroy the card. You can only activate Toon Terror once per turn. So, yep, that's uh, that's it for the main deck. Like I said, this is kind of my first version of the build. I plan on doing a lot. I plan on this being one of the decks you guys see a lot on the channel. I really enjoy Toons, so we'll see. We'll see. Everybody has a deck, I feel like, that they know isn't that good, and they want to make it you know, compete, compatible, and, uh, or competitive, I should say, and I think this is one of the ones I'm going to be working kind of hard to, to use, but moving on to the extra deck, we play three XYZ monsters, and one, uh, two of those are, uh, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, just for burning, you place level sevens, and sometimes you can still level sevens, once again, you don't really go into this, this too much, we play one copy of Ding, Ding's really nice because you can, use a level 8 like BLS and still level 8 from your opponent's side of the field make it and it can protect your Toon Kingdom. We played one Mega Fleet. If I had two Mega Fleets I might would take something out to put in the second one in but I currently only own one so that's why I'm playing that. Once again this is a work in progress. I'm kinda just showing you guys what my version of the build is right now. Um, and then the rest is nothing but Super Poly Targets uh, and most of these Super Poly Targets are generic. Some of them are designed for my local specifically so you guys should always design your extra deck if you're using super poly targets to what you deem to be right. This is like I said for the people I'm playing against currently. So uh, Shadal Window at two, Mud Dragon of the Swamp at two, Starving Venom at two, and then the uh, Preda Plant, the one that does the th uh, I don't know how to say this card's name, but it takes three dark monsters. But yeah, this one you kind of play these two. In case they only end on two, this one, in case they make the third and you can do it. But it's really nice. Trinity. Uh, I, there's a lot of hero players at my locals and they usually end on a board. No matter who it is, they usually end on only three heroes, three or four. Whether it be Plasma, Dark Law, Stratos, or Sunrise, J Dread Decimator, Dark Law, whatever it is. Super Poly make it. I mean, even if it, even if they make absolute zero, you can super poly make it and like, yeah, they'll blow it up. But hey, now they have nothing on the field. So, and the last one I play is two of Chimera. Uh, that's just good against generic things like Solomon Greats. Um, if you run into a Marine Cess deck, it's pretty good. Pretty good against Marine Cess if you get over the field spell. I know a lot of people aren't looking for Marine Cesses, but me being a Marine Cess player, that's something I always try to think about. Uh, it's also one of your only outs to things like um, Avermax. So. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a combo so you guys can see something. There's really not much of a combo to do with this deck. But anyways, guys, let's go check it out. All right, a little bit of a combo you can do. This one's going to be kind of one that you can do going first or going second. Uh, the going second combo you really want to do, I'll show you that one after this. But this one's one that you can do generically. So you have uh, any like cards like this. Uh, this could be bookmark this could be another toon table of contents this could be bookmark you know you don't have to necessarily have these three but this is a three card combo you can use with almost like any cards to be honest with you as long as you have this and two ways to search you're going to be golden so what we'll do is we'll normal summon the stone of legend affect the stone of legend to tribute and summon out toon red eyes okay so we summon out the toon red eyes wherever he is okay and of course, he can't attack the turning summon, so that's okay. If you're going first or second, it is what it is. So now we're going to play the terraforming. We're going to search for the Toon Kingdom. We're going to activate the Toon Kingdom, banishing three random cards from the top of our deck. So we'll just go ahead and throw out three random cards from the top of our deck. And of course, you can look at them, but they're not relevant anymore because they're out of the game. Okay, and then we can go and play Toon Table Contents. So, 
Now you've used three of your, what you would have five cards in your hand opening up, okay? So you'd use Tune Dark Magician's Effect, discarding any Tune card, which isn't going to matter because you don't have any, you don't have any recursion in the grave. So we just discard a random Tune card, doesn't necessarily matter what it is. And then Effect Special Out, Tune BLS. So now you can go ahead and use these guys to go into your XYZ or you can leave them on the field. For this combo I'm going to go ahead and go into the XYZ. And now whenever your opponent activates effects he's going to take 500 damage and you have protection on your BLS and there you go. And if you wanted even going further to keep protection on your Toon Kingdom you could have used Toon Table of Contents to search for Toon Bookmark first and then use Toon Bookmark to search for the uh, Dark Magician. But that's, that's the little combo you can do with it. Like I said, something too crazy. You have a Banish going in there. You have them being burnt for 500 their whole entire turn. You can attack directly. You would still have one card in hand, theoretically, from this combo. And, you know, that could even be part of Extravagance, which gets you two more cards. So you have a lot that you can do right here with this. It's, uh, you know, like I said, it's nothing too, too crazy, but it is something that can be done. And then, of course, the going second combo that you want to open if you're going second, which is what this deck wants to do, is you want to draw either this card with Comic Can, or Comic Can and Super Poly, or all three of them, because that's just nice at that point if you get all three of them. But the, the cool play is, let's say you're playing against like something like Heroes, they make full combo, then you, you Nibir them. Then you get this, uh, you get Nibir on your field, and then they get this token. Well, as long as you have a way to make Toon Kingdom, you play this, steal their token, switch it to attack position, it's going to be beefed up thanks to the effect of Nibiru, and you can attack directly with it for game. So, that's the main Toon combo, that's kind of what our deck is trying to do as much as possible. Uh, of course, we're trying to play tunes as well, but... Anyways, guys, yep, that's the Tune Deck Profile. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know if you guys want to see more deck profiles, more skits, uh, more interactions with other people. Let me know what you guys want to see, and the uh, next area will definitely bring it to you. And don't forget to go check out Cozy Singles. I'm sure the ad will still be after this. And, uh, yeah, next area is now, guys.